Hey everyone, great news. Well, I guess that depends on your perspective, <laughs> where your starting point is, or where you reside on the political spectrum. But at the very least, you can say that there's a new game in town in New Brunswick, namely the People's Alliance Party, that now have the opportunity to be kingmakers, to implement some real genuine social and economic policies that can finally put that province on the path to genuine prosperity. I'm holding out hope, that's for sure. And congratulations, by the way, to the People's Alliance Party of New Brunswick. Kudos and congrats to you guys for doing all that you needed to do and putting in that hard work and effort to actually put yourself, to place yourself in this position where you now actually have a genuine voice in the political landscape of that have-not province. Headline, CBC News, New Brunswick. People's Alliance agrees to support a PC government in NB, bill by bill. Chris Austin met with New Brunswick's Lieutenant Governor Friday morning to discuss working with other parties. So, <laughs> once again, and hey, Chris Austin, good for you. And like you're saying, bill by bill. Yeah, yeah no, they're not going to throw their support behind the Conservatives or the Liberals just willy-nilly. They're saying we're principled and we're taking a principled stance and approach on a bill-by-bill -bill basis. So, hey, if you do the right thing, yeah, we'll support you. If not, well, I guess it's back to the drawing board. And seeing as how the Conservatives win in 22 seats and the Liberals only win in 21, and you need 25 to form a majority, well, the Liberals, whether the Greens, which got three, or the People's Alliance, that got three, you know, 21 plus three, you're still one shy. So the Conservatives are the only ones out there that actually can form government, but only with the genuine support of the Greens, which, yeah, it's not going to happen, or the People's Alliance Party. So, People's Alliance Party, like I say, they get to play the role of kingmakers. They get to play the role of spoiler and actually have a massive amount of persuasion and influence on the political outcomes going forward. Like I say, times they do have changed. And in this country, they're changing from coast to coast. So, you better get on board and start to recognize that, hey, liberty is rising and is becoming more popular by the day. Progressive conservative leader Blaine Higgs says there is no deal between his party and the People's Alliance to form government, despite suggestions by Premier Brian Gallant and a statement from the People's Alliance. On Friday, People's Alliance Chris Austin agreed to provide stability for a progressive conservative minority government on a bill-by-bill -bill basis for 18 months. Higgs said he spoke to Austin about stabilizing the government, but made no formal agreement. The PC leader's comments capped off a day of tangled rhetoric, further adding to the confusion following Monday's provincial election. The results have left two parties jockeying to take power. With the liberals, you know, what is it with the people on the left and, and people that want to identify with the Liberal Party in Canada or the NDP? What a bunch of sore fucking losers. Like, really, have you ever seen such a thing? It's like, what are you, you taking the playbook right out of the Democrats out of the U.S., and now you're going to what? Use political activism, protests, petitions, or just downright denying democracy. You know that thing you fuckers constantly promote and espouse when you're winning? Now, apparently, like I say, liberals love democracy when they're winning, when they're in power, but apparently don't really care for it much when they're not. Imagine that. Austin said he met with Lieutenant Governor Jocelyn Roy Venu on Friday morning to inform her he'd met with Higgs and had discussed working with other parties in legislature and to let her know about the party's decision. We want to give New Brunswickers some confidence that, as we've said all along and we continue to say, we will work with Mr. Higgs and the PC party to go on a bill-by-bill -bill basis to promote stability in government for 18 months, Austin said. A People's Alliance release issued Friday suggested a formal agreement had been struck. Austin later clarified that nothing is set in stone. This depends entirely on what Mr. Higgs puts forward and how he's willing to cooperate with us, Austin told CBC News. So yeah, don't back down and don't shy away from what would be conceived as controversy. Stand firm on your principles and your convictions, Austin, and anyone out there that supports the People's Alliance. Because, hey... You're, you're just, this is the foundation now, but you can grow and increase your support going forward by showing that you are the principal party, that you are the principal leader or leaders 
who are finally trying to give the people in New Brunswick a genuine option that will greatly benefit them socially and economically. You'll have the support of people like me. You'll have vocal voices of people like me that'll stand in solidarity and show support, even if I don't agree with everything on your platform. Yeah, we're more than willing to help those who are trying to help others in a proper sense and putting this country and the many provinces within it on the right path to genuine individual freedom and liberty going forward. It's Canadian Libertarian, and I love liberty.